This is a demonstration of an Arduino-based MIDI controller that I've been building for the last five months. It's still a work in progress, but with the previous two versions having been destroyed to reclaim their parts, I decided to actually spend the time to record a video and document this one, since I do have some ideas for a redesign. Uh, when this is all finished, I'll likely write build instructions and upload the sketch for this if there's interest, and hopefully it'll end up being useful to somebody else as well. The inspiration for this started when I decided to try learning piano earlier this year. It didn't take long before I became frustrated with the slow progress I was making and started losing interest in it. Uh, and somewhere around that time, I happened on a video of an Axis 49 keyboard being played, which, due to its isomorphic key layout, allows the same chord and scale patterns to be played in every key, potentially decreasing learning time. Unfortunately, that instrument is discontinued, and due to the high prices on the used market, I decided to try building my own using arcade buttons instead. So, rather than just copy the Axis 49, I changed up the button layout after reading a few articles from people attempting to modify their Axis 49s for the Wiki Hayden layout. Coming from a regular piano, that one seemed to make the most sense to me, but there are actually a number of other button layouts that are in common use for these types of instruments. So this is the Wiki Hayden layout. We have whole steps on the horizontal axis. We have fourths on the diagonal axis this way, like guitar or bass tuning. We have fifths on this diagonal axis, like a violin, viola, or cello. And then finally we have octaves on the vertical. A major advantage of this is that you can reach four octaves with one hand fairly easily, so you can do some pretty cool arpeggios or play lower root notes with your chords. Semitones are broken up a little awkwardly, but uh, you do get used to it pretty quickly. So as said earlier, this being an isomorphic layout, iso meaning equal and morph meaning shape, you can apply the same scale patterns to every key. So for example, a major scale in C, or in A sharp, they both just use the same pattern. A minor scale, your major triads also all use the same shape. minor, 7, everything uses the same respective shape in every key, which makes chord progressions pretty easy.
So being a MIDI device, this works with anything that a standard MIDI keyboard does, but because I built this primarily to use with a headless Raspberry Pi running the Fluid Synth synthesizer, I've added a few extra control options. So changing instrument patches can be done by holding one of these two meta keys and then pressing a note button. And uh, because we only have 85 buttons and the general MIDI standard includes 128 instrument patches, the remaining patches wrap around the top. Which brings us to maybe the first kind of unique feature, which is the ability to select an additional instrument on a second layer channel that we can play simultaneously with the main. Because our Cade buttons don't have any sort of velocity detection, I have potentiometers for velocity adjustment for both the main and the layer channels. Uh, I did play around with using a piezo sensor for velocity detection, but it really wasn't reliable enough to be useful. I might take another crack at it in the future, but I suspect that any velocity detection that isn't per key is never going to work all that well. Uh, moving along, we have pitch adjustment. So unlike most MIDI keyboards, there's no spring back to center, but I've actually found this kind of useful for matching different pitch standards when playing along to YouTube videos. A surprising amount of music actually isn't A equals 440. So here we have modulation. The fake vibrato is pretty wonky in fluid synth, but other applications like GarageBand make a lot better use for it, adjusting timbre and things like that. Holding this meta key and pressing the action up or down keys will toggle the chorus or reverb effects. And reverb. Holding this meta key and pressing the action down button will switch to the drums channel. Uh, so I've actually adjusted the button layout in this mode to double up the notes assigned to snares, hats, and the kick drum so that you have access to quick hits. So holding this meta key and pressing action up will actually flip the note layout horizontally so that if you've memorized something with your right hand you could theoretically just mirror it and play it with your left. So for instance So I've actually read claims that muscle memory transfers more directly that way, but I'm not actually entirely sold on that. I just left this in for further experimentation. So holding action down while pressing one of the note keys actually prevents the key from sending a MIDI note off command, so it works kind of like a, a per key infinite sustain. It's pretty useful for holding drone notes, but uh, there is another quarter inch jack on the back for an actual sustain pedal. Finally, the remaining quarter inch jack and the action up key both invoke the same functionality, which is kind of a poor man's loop pedal. 
it records button inputs and then plays them back indefinitely. So you could record a drum loop or a repeating harmony to solo over. So I hope that this has been informative. I'm still working on shaking some of the bugs out and maybe coming up with a name for it. But uh, I hope to have code and documentation up at some point, and hopefully someone will find use in rewriting it for their own project.